Good evening. Hello. I'm looking for Mr. Sean Hampton. Do you know where I could find him? The sad saint? I heard he was mugged or something. Yes, he was. But he left hospital recently. You don't say. Well, I suppose it's good news for the homeless and the useless. Ask them, they must know something. Goodbye, Miss Cox. Mark my words, miss. These murders are the work of a vampire. A vampire? Whatever do you mean? Not a drop of blood left in his body. This is the work of a vampire. You'd best be off to your hunting then. For if the sewer dog is back and hunting all these poor folk, he needs a catching. A sewer dog? What's it look like? It's an old story. A monster with daggers for teeth and icy claws. He comes of a sudden, night time, claiming innocence. Good evening, and then sir. Whatever. Don't you recognize me? We met a few nights ago. Dad take it personally. I spent. Yes, you had definitely drunk too much then. I'm Dyson Delaney. I'll try to remember you this time. I'm looking for Mr. Sean Hampton. Do you know where I could find him? I really don't know. I heard he'd been abducted. I don't know if he's back. Who could tell me then? About the sad saint. I try asking Tom what's about him. Goodbye, Mr. Delaney. Good evening. What? Goodbye, Mr. What? Inebriation. Yes. Take this then. Hey, Doc, you don't really want me. Goodbye. Good evening, sir. Have you witnessed any suspicious activity or strange events recently? And what do you define as a strange event? More to the point, who are you? My name is Ichabod Throgmorton. Vampire hunter extraordinaire and warden of the East End. A vampire hunter? <laughs> really? I know what you're thinking. I'm just another lunatic howling at the moon, but I'm not. The bloodsuckers exist, and they're close. Mr. Throgmorton, I'm Dr. Jonathan Reed. I'd like to hear more about these vampires you're hunting. A man of science? Do you need my me- I appreciate your- I'm looking for Sean Hampton. Can you help me, Mr. Throgmorton? The sad saint? He should be at his night asylum at this hour. But I cannot tell you how to find it, sorry. Really? Why is that? It's nothing personal, Doctor. Maybe at least you can tell me- Tell you what, go and chat with Tom Watts. I could make you tell me, but- All I will say is this. Goodbye. <coughs> good evening, Tom. Good evening, sir. How are you tonight? Back to the docks, are we? You remember me, then? Of course I do. You're that man who seemed so lost when he entered my bar a few nights ago. Thank you for your hospitality. I'm Jonathan Reed, by the way. Uh, I'm still Tom Watts. Welcome back, Doctor. Do you need any help? I'm all right. Tom, I need to find Sean Hampton as quickly as possible. I've been told you could help me. I heard the sad saint was recovering at Pembroke Hospital. Did he leave or something? I believe he returned to his flock. Can you confirm that? Oh, I bet you're right. Sean can't help but worry about the poor and sick. Oh, I guess it has something to do with what happened to him as a baby. Please, tell me. Well, I don't like to gossip, but I heard that the sad saint was abandoned as a baby in front of a Catholic orphanage in Dublin. It would explain his faith and need to help everyone.
The important thing is I find him. Quickly. Uh, why not try his night asylum? He takes care of those who need a meal or a roof there. Where is it? It's in an old warehouse, northwest of here. Just follow the bank to the west and go north when you reach the end of the pier. Goodbye, Mr. Watts. It's a good thing you cannot see me now, Mum. I should have offered a drink to the boy. Be Evening, Miss. Well, I never. That's a first. I'm much more myself than when we first met. Welcome back to the Turquoise Turtle, then, Doctor. I'm Sabrina Cavendish. How can I help you? Do you require... I'm fine, sir. Miss Cavendish, would you... You better ask Tom, sir. Why not answer me directly? We respect the privacy of our customers here, sir. Excuse my curiosity. Something bothering you? What, my name? Or my complexion? Believe me, I never judge someone on their place of birth or the colour of their skin. If that's true, you'd be one of the few not to make fun of me. I'm sorry if I worried you. No, Z. My dad was a sailor from Bombay, and my mum was a maid born up in Glasgow. They got married in London, and here I am. Goodbye, Miss Cavendish. Not long ago, this sort of mess would have given me a laugh. Seems like the guard of Prewen is on Shorthampton's trail, too. <laughs> Come <laughs> on. 
Good evening, miss. I'm Dr. Jonathan Reed. May I have your attention for a minute? Good evening, sir. My name is Giselle Paxton. 
But I don't have time for men like you. Have we met before? No. But I just need to look at your fancy clothes to know that you must be desperate to visit the docks at night. That's quite judgmental of you. Sir, I've led enough strikes when I had a job to identify you as an enemy of the working class. May I ask what you do for a living? I'm killing myself scraping for a living. And you? Have you ever had to struggle in your entire life? Do you need medical help, Miss Paxton? No, thank you. Do you need medical... No, thank... You speak of strikes and class enemy. You bet I am. You lost your job because of your beliefs. Those bastards really hate a work. Isn't the whole point... A few nights back. What really happened? I drank too much that night. May I ask what you do for a living? I'm killing myself, Scrape. What can you tell me about... Tell you what. Just spend a few... What can you... Tell you what. If you have something to say... Oh. You don't know me, Miss Paxton. Oh, you're mad. You're right. I really doubt you ever had to fight. Good evening, miss. I'm Dr. Jonathan Reed. Can I help you? A fancy doctor lurking at night by the docks? <laughs> Not fishy at all. And what about you? Working outside at night in this dangerous part of town? You want to know my secret? I'm trying to earn money. And I'm Lottie Paxton, by the way. Why do you and your sister Giselle have such opposing views, Lottie? Giselle whines she lost her job due to her unionist activities. And you don't share your sister's views? On the contrary. I totally believe that workers need to unite to fight. I just disagree with Giselle's hatred for all wealth and riches. What do you mean? I don't believe that you were an automatic arsehole because you were born into a good family. Perhaps your sister's addiction to alcohol is the result of her despair. Perhaps you're right. Don't you think she wants to get better? I believe she knows her alcoholism is a worry to me. Lottie, tell me about the death of your mother. Giselle killed her, plain and simple. That's quite a statement. You can't kill someone because you're fickle. Mother was very ill, but I forgave Giselle. Perhaps your sister is not as tough as you are. I know that, and I don't blame her. Giselle is the only family you have left. Sometimes words are harder to forgive than acts, Dr. Reed. Is it not dangerous to work here at night? As long as I have good legs. Are you homeless, Miss Paxton? 
Mr. Hampton's Night Asylum is our new home now. What can you tell me about the Sad Saint? It's just the nickname of Sean Hampton. What can you tell me about... It may be okay for a strong girl like me. You really think I should go back to a safer place, miss? No. Which local dangers, ma'am? Well, the gangs... Well, I am not someone so easily intimidated. Glad to hear that. I'm looking for Sean Hampton. Can you help me? Mr. Hampton must be in his office at the Night Asylum he manages, I suppose. Why do you want to see him? He was a patient of mine at the Pembroke Hospital, but he left abruptly. I see. Well, Mr. Hampton is a discreet and dedicated man. I'm sure you'll find him soon enough. Goodbye, Miss Paxton. Glad. Do you need... I'm fine. Goodbye. This Seymour worries me. Perhaps you should have learned something about him. Why the long face, Doctor? It looks like we both have changed a lot. I must confess, it saddens me, Sean. Put your faith in the Lord, Doctor. He has a plan for all of us. We may not always see it, but he does. Since you left Pembroke, the amount of blood that has been shed, it's hard to believe you, Sean. Ask what you will. As the Lord is my shepherd, I will not speak a lie to you. Aren't you afraid of what you've become? We are blessed, Doctor. Can't you see it? The Lord has made us able to walk amongst the plague and aid those that need it. Do you think this is a blessing when God's own house and holy symbols repel you? If that is your burden, Doctor, so be it. But I do not fear the cross, nor am I forced to take the life of another. My kind doesn't share your imperfections. But you must drink blood now to survive. No, not your scripture. Whoso eateth my flesh and drinketh my blood hath eternal life. And I will raise him up at the last day. So saith the Lord. I only need to eat flesh. No blood. Why return here? This is my home. These people are my flock. You will always find me where I am needed. Wonders never cease. Scal managing an asylum. And what of you? A vampire doctor? Meals laid out before you? Yet you restrain? And what about William Bishop? He tried to take care of you. But this hunger, this thirst, cannot be restrained. Alas. Poor William. He had a good soul, but was weak in spirit. He could not shake the thirst for booze, never mind blood. But have faith. My will is far stronger than his. Why did you kill Miss Jones at the Pembroke Hospital? Killed old Harriet? You must be mad, Doctor. Why would I do such a thing? So you claim Miss Jones' death was not by your hand? nor the other incidents at Pembroke. Though Harriet was an angry, spiteful woman, she was one of God's creatures. I have nothing but love for all he has made. But you were close to her. Of course. But she was lost, separated from the fold. She did not see the hand of the divine in my blessed condition. 
People have been murdered. I've seen the blood. I don't believe you can be trusted. Have a little faith, Doctor. If you will follow, I will guide you to the light. How do you plan to do that? Take this key of the old sewers. The entrance is by the riverbank, south from here. There you'll find all the proof you need. I will not look kindly on you if you're trying to trick me. I'll be here when you return. If you still think I'm a threat then, well, I'll surrender myself to your judgment. <laughs>